before you go to sleep, you're gonna, first of all, you're gonna do everything what you need to do with your wife or Jeff, right? Because I know. Do, do your stuff. If that's done, right? She's sleeping. You're gonna sit back and you're gonna think about this question. Why am I a programmer? Why did I learn how to program? Why? That's something you need to think about tonight. But I'm gonna give you my answer because I did the same question today in the car because I was, I'm bored in the car. For some reason, my best ideas come in the shower, on the toilet and in the car. So I was sitting in the car, I was thinking, why am I a programmer? And I am a programmer. I was, when I was 16, I was playing Counter-Strike. Listen very carefully, I was playing Counter-Strike. We wanted to have a clan website. And we also wanted to make a competition where other clans could register and all that stuff. And then we could play against each other and we could have a leaderboard. So they needed to log in, you have uh, access to the, to, the, to the platform and they give in the scores and all that stuff. And later on, we linked it with the server directly. Uh, so then I need, needed to do a lot of Linux stuff because I was installing these servers with all these mods. And then I linked these servers basically on the website and all that shenanigans. Yeah, that's how I learned that. So I learned to program not to become rich, not to become a programmer because I wanted to be a programmer. No, I wanted to play Counter-Strike. But I learned how to code because I actually want to build stuff. You know, I, I want to make a clan site. And all these people want to make a clan site. So they were paying us, me and my friend Victor, and we were making clan sites. We were making we were making money when we were 16, 17 years old. People were sending money with a post, with a letter, with a post letter. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's why I was, I was programming. Not because I wanted to be for a, I wanted to work for a fan company and, and, and raking all the money. No. And that's a big difference because if you're uh, turning into a programmer because you want to be a programmer just to be one, right? Because it's cool, maybe you make some money. It's fine because you need to make money and you need to do some job in your life anyway. But the thing is, you're going to think differently. You're going to think differently. You're going to be more focused on your toolings. You're going to be more focused on your editor. You're going to be more focused on the quality of your code, the way about the technology and you're gonna be more focused on that, which is not, it's not a bad deal. But you're not going to be so focused on building things because that's not your intention. You wanna code. It does not matter what you're coding. You're writing code, you're using technology, it's fine. The end product, you don't care, right? Is it, if it works, you're gonna be happy, of course, but I'm not that person. I'm a complete opposite. Of course, I love to code, but I love to code because the end result is what I actually want. And that gives me satisfaction. So I wanna have a simple language that can get stuff done quick. It depends if you're focused, if you're just a programmer and you love programming and you don't care about this, okay, then then maybe Ruby on Rails is not, is not good for you. But I'm working in the startup scene for basically all my life. And like I mentioned before, frameworks like Laravel or Ruby on, Ruby on Rails in particular have, has made millions. PHP has made millionaires. And what all these other projects has done, like uh, for example, Next and all these other TRPC shenanigans, that made projects on GitHub. No millionaires. That made projects. That made an overflow of NPN modules, an overflow on these projects on GitHub. That's what that made. But Rails and PHP and all these frameworks made companies as we know them today. Netflix, Shopify, GitHub. Most of them are all built on Ruby on Rails and still using them. But they came into scaling issues, right? Remember these two things that I told you? One, they came into a developer scaling problem. And two, they came into, I cannot scale my application horizontally anymore by throwing RAM and CPU power because we already exhausted this. Then you need to come up with cool solutions and that's how microservices existed, which come with a lot of more complex problems. Hey, golden advice, fulltimegorev.com if you want to have more golden advice and be like me. If you want to think like me, you want to program like me with a mindset to land a job and make some money, fulltimegorev.com.